Hey everyone, welcome back. I just want to remind you that you can visit faithfilled.com slash curriculum to download the activity sheets for this lesson. That's right. All right, here we go. We're about to start. All right, today we're going to be talking about respect. Now, to explain respect, I would say remember the golden rule. The golden rule is the same wherever. You've probably heard it before. It's treat others the way you want to be treated. That's right. You see, and respect is really about that very thing. It's using polite manners, of course. It's, it's obeying your parents and all of those kinds of things. It's being nice to others. But really, in essence, it's about treating others the way that you want to be treated yourself. Now, maybe what you didn't know about the golden rule is that it actually comes from the Bible. That's right. Jesus tells it. So that's where we're going to be going today. But rather than me explain it to you here, why don't we have a little bit more fun and do it like a game show? All right, here we go. All right, everyone. Welcome to the show called what will you do? That's right, this is the only show where we ask the question, what will you do? And today, our contestant is none other than Dusty the Dog. Welcome, Dusty. Hi, thanks for having me on, Doug. Uh, and hi to my mom, hi to my 10 brothers, hi to my 10 sisters, hi everybody. Excellent. Dusty enjoys long walks, afternoon naps, and peeing on fire hydrants. Don't you, Dusty? <laughs> well, Dusty, your very first question is this. While taking a hike in the woods, you suddenly get very hungry. That is, of course, when you remember that you packed your favorite snacks, a box of assorted donuts. After gobbling up all 12 donuts, you quickly realize you do not want to carry that box around anymore. So, Dusty, what will you do? Option A, you decide to throw the box on the ground carelessly. Option B, you decide to respect both yourself and the environment and nearby animals by holding onto the trash for now. Or option C, you find the closest bird and try to convince it that the box would make a terrific nest. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, I forget. What, what are the options again? They're on the screen. Oh, right. Okay. Um, uh, option B, option B, option B. And ding, 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 we have a winner. Congratulations, Dusty. You have received this homemade doggy biscuit. Enjoy, friend. Oh, way to go, Dusty. And now it's time for a word from our sponsor, Dr. Chuck from Paws for Pets Animal Clinic. Let's hear it, Dr. Chuck. Hi. Oh my, what have we here? A turtle, and not a friendly one. He snapped at me. Snapped? What a shame. Why would this little guy snap at you? You don't look food sized to me. Just because he's mean. How awful. You mean this little guy came up to you and attacked you? Well, it didn't happen quite like that. Why don't you tell us exactly what did happen? I was sort of playing around in the field and I thought I saw something moving through the tall grass, so I followed it, and then I saw this little turtle, so I wanted to get a better look. So I grabbed him, and then he snapped at me. Ah, uh, you scared him, and he tried to protect himself. I didn't mean to scare him. Gosh, he's just a turtle. All living creatures deserve respect. A little old turtle? And what does grabbing him got to do with respect? All animals have their living spaces and way of living that God placed inside of them. When you don't treat them in their homes with care and thought, that's disrespecting them. Okay, I get it. I didn't think about how the turtle would feel about me taking him out of his habitat or a big person grabbing him, so I didn't respect the turtle. Exactly. Respect is showing concern for people, animals, and everything God created. God gave us the things on earth for different purposes, but he always wanted us to treat them with respect that God intended. That's right. 
I think this little guy would really appreciate some respectful person to take him back to the place where they found him so he can live the life that God created him for. I'm sorry, Mr. Turtle. I'm going to bring you back home, and the next time I bump into you, I'll remember to show respect. <laughs> take your time, you know. Turtles don't like to move too fast. All right, welcome back, everyone. We're here in round two, where so far our contestant, Dusty, has successfully learned how to respect animals and the environment. But will he successfully navigate the next round? Dusty, here is your question. After a long morning of TV watching and video game playing, you see your friends outside riding their bikes. You decide to A, join them and get some exercise, respecting your body, or B, continue your movie marathon of a thousand ways to wag your tail, or C, you remember that you have not yet eaten a cookie and so you head to the cookie jar to consume them all. Dusty, it's time for What Will You Do? Uh, what kind of cookies are they? Um, chocolate chip? Peanut butter? Bacon flavored? Oh, uh, uh, eat the cookies, eat the cookies! Is that your final answer? Wait, no, Dusty, Dusty, you can do this. Uh, leave it. Uh, Bad dog, healthy dog, healthy dog. Uh, okay, option A, option A! Congratulations! Yeah. You've won! <laughs> you receive yet another prize of a tasty dog biscuit. That hardly seems appropriate given the circumstances, but anyway, here you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nom, 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 nom. Enjoy. And now, a word from our sponsors over at Shapin Up. Take it away, Miss Kim. Boys and girls. Did you know that the Bible tells us that our body is the temple or the house where the Holy Spirit lives? You mean the Holy Spirit lives in here? He sure does. Wow, that's awesome. Certainly is, isn't it? And so now that we know that the Holy Spirit lives inside of us, it's our responsibility to make sure that we respect our bodies. But how do we do that? <laughs> Very simply. We just commit to taking care of our bodies. And so today, I'm gonna to show you guys an exercise called jumping jacks. Jumping jacks are an awesome way to take care of our temples or our bodies because jumping jacks brings oxygen to our muscles and that's what gives us energy. What are jumping jacks? Jumping jacks is kind of like a star jump. I'll show you what it looks like so you guys know exactly how to do it. We start with our feet together and our hands at our side, and we jump out and in and out and in. Are you ready? We'll do five. And one, two, three, four, five. Fantastic, boys and girls. This time, we're gonna go a little bit faster. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's fantastic, boys and girls. That's really good. <laughs> okay, you know what we should do now? We should invite the boys and girls at home to come on in and join us with these exercises. What do you think? Yeah! Okay, boys and girls at home, do you want to join us in doing some jumping jacks? Okay, are you ready? Feet and hands together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. That's awesome. You guys are really shaping up. All right, welcome back everyone to another round of What Will You Do? So far, Dusty the dog has completed the first two rounds successfully, but the stakes are going to raise for this one because, Dusty, you will now be competing for all the cookies. That's right, I said all the cookies. Okay, Dusty, are you ready for your third and final question? Uh-oh, 
I don't know. The stakes are too high. I'm crumbling under the pressure. Here it goes. You have made plans to go over to your friend's house and try the latest video game, Super Guy 9, which promises to be even better than Super Guy 8. However, your parents say that you must complete your chores first. So, Dusty, what will you do? Option A. Chores? Chores? Who has time for chores? You decide to head straight to your friend's house to play the game. Or, option B. You decide to build a robot who will complete all your chores for you, but get totally sidetracked in building said robot that you forget all about both the chores and heading over to your friend's house. Or option C, you respect your parents, do as they say, and then go enjoy the new video game with your friend. Well, Dusty, what will you do? <gasps> Let's see, a building robot? No, no, respect your parents, respect your parents! Ding, 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 ding! We have a winner! Dusty, you have won all the cookies! Unbelievable! Way to go, ladies and gentlemen, and way to go, Dusty! Oh, the cookies! Oh! Okay. Now, we're going to head over to the library at Gospel Times Square to hear a word oh, from... Oh, oh, I can't hear you! I won! I get all these cookies! Oh, 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 thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Oh, Mrs. Oh, Reed. Take it away, Mrs. Reed. Hi, boys and girls, and everyone at home. Welcome to the library at Gospel Times Square. My name is Mrs. Reed. I know you heard a lot about respect today. When I hear the word respect, I think about how I feel about someone and how I treat someone. So what does respect sound like? Well, it's saying please and thank you. You know, good manners. It's using kind and cheerful voices and waiting your turn. Well, what does it look like? Well, it's listening and helping, cooperating, keeping a promise, sharing, and waiting your turn. I've got a great Bible story for you today about Jesus and how the teachers at the temple showed respect to him and how Jesus showed respect to them and his parents. Age 12 sounds so grown up, especially if you're a young child. But to us adults, age 12 seems really young. Well, the Bible tells us that when Jesus was 12 years old, he went with his family, you know, Mary and Joseph and all his relatives, to a temple in Jerusalem. They went there every year to have a celebration. It was a long way from where they lived in Nazareth, so it would take them a few days to get there. After the celebration was over, they headed home as usual with their many relatives. The first night out of town, they stopped to sleep and realized that Jesus wasn't there. Uh-oh, where could he be? He wasn't with any of his relatives, as Mary and Joseph had thought. The next morning, Mary and Joseph headed back to Jerusalem. He had to be there. They looked everywhere for Jesus, as frightened parents would. Do you know where they found him? They found him in the temple. The temple back then was like a church today, a place where we can go to learn about God and worship him. When Mary and Joseph went into the temple, Jesus was sitting listening to the teachers, asking them questions and discussing the scriptures. The teachers, who were sort of like our preachers today, showed great respect for Jesus by listening to him. They were all amazed at how much Jesus knew and understood about God. Remember, he was only 12. Well, Mary and Joseph were delighted to find Jesus safe and sound. The Bible tells us that Jesus went home with them and was obedient. This demonstrated that he respected his parents and their authority over him. Well, the story ends with these words. Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. So, boys and girls, and friends at home, Jesus tells us to respect our parents. And even though respect is a hard word to explain, 
Remember, our words and actions show what we think about a person. If we respect our parents, we will be courteous and obedient. And definitely wise. Well, that's all for today. See you soon. Bye, friends at home. All right, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed today's game. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time when we ask the question, what will you do? That was so much fun. Thanks for joining. You know, we can use respect in so many different situations, whether we're hiking through the woods and taking care of the animals who live there, or whether we're at the kitchen table, obeying the rules of the house and, and listening to mom and dad. But in all of these situations, the easiest way for you to remember how to master respect is to do what Jesus said, treat others the way you want to be treated. Now, this golden rule, as I said, is from the Bible itself. You can look it up in Matthew chapter 7, verse 12, which we're going to do in a minute. But of course, we've got to do the Go Get Your Bible dance. Okay, thanks for joining me for that. As I said, we're in Matthew chapter 7, verse 12. Let me read it for you. In everything, do to others what you would want them to do to you. This is what is written in the law and the prophets. You see, Jesus was summarizing all of the Old Testament. That's what he meant by the law and the prophets. He's saying that all of it is in essence just about loving others, showing them care and respect. So, if we can master that one verse, we'll be mastering so much of what Jesus teaches us to do and who to be in the Bible. While we think about this, let's watch the notable four for today. Let me pray before we wrap up today's lesson. Heavenly Father, thank you for these words from Jesus. Thank you for helping us learn how to respect you 
and others. And I pray that everyone who's watched this video would be encouraged by this lesson and help to treat others the way they want to be treated themselves. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, everyone, thanks so much for joining us. I hope that you'll be here next week for more Lessons from the Bible with me, Pastor Doug. Bye-bye. Hey kids, if you'd like to do some of our activity sheets, head on over to faithfield.com slash curriculum.